I'm not gonna lie. That direct on Tuesday was terrible and a little uncomfortable too. Though there were some honorable mentions in them, both directs featured weren't much to look at and we still don't have Silk Song. With the terrible lineup of games featured, you've got to ask yourself, why were these directs so bad? Well, let's talk about that. Now, Nintendo really did steal the show with their mainline direct in June that had many heavy hitting first party games laid out for the rest of this year and even into the next. So our expectations were probably a little higher than they should have been for the indie and partner games that these directs feature. But I don't think that's why these directs were so bad. It could just be that there weren't that many good games to promote. Or the bigger titles some of these developers have could just be waiting around the corner for something bigger before they decide to show. We'll dive into that, but first let's talk about the terrible indie games featured. The best thing I saw on this Indie World Showcase was the Sea of Stars DLC. The demo I played of this game was a lot of fun, so the DLC shown here is a welcome addition. Next, a fun RPG is found in Peglin. It's creative by having you play an RPG through the puzzle strategy of a pegboard. But in my opinion, the rest of the games shown here on this Indie World Showcase range from being just okay to downright terrible. In fact, I would say the Date Everything game is the worst game idea ever. This game doesn't have you date people, no, no. But instead, wait for this, you date objects. I'm sorry, but I don't fantasize about dating kitchen cabinets. Yuck. The Partner Direct also wasn't much to look at, but as expected, it did have some better games than the Indie World Showcase had. First to be featured, and in commemoration of Tetris's 40th anniversary, was Tetris Forever. This is the Tetris game for all Tetris fans. Here you can play more than 15 different classic Tetris games, and you can also explore the history of this series with the included video footage it has of its origins. One game I loved seeing on this Direct was the Castlevania Dominus Collection. Don't diss the graphics till you actually play these games. There is a reason why the phrase Metroidvania was coined. It's because Metroid and Castlevania games have been the gold standard for this genre and every one of them, like this one, are worth playing. Dragon Quest III HD 2D Remake is also one of the greats featured here. It's a classic that all RPG enthusiasts need to play. Also, there's a reason why Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake is coming out now, and Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD 2D Remakes are coming out next. The game's stories should be followed by playing the third installment first, then 1 and 2. I also recommend Sid Meier's Civilization 7. I still jump back and play Civilization 6 from time to time to enjoy the journey to world dominance. <laughs> Civilization 7 is going to be even better. If you like what you've seen so far, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on anything. Now, the following games could be fun, but like the majority of the indie games, I'd say the rest of these partner games range from being just okay to being terrible. Now, why didn't we see better partner games like Silk Song that was announced five years ago, or even Call of Duty that Microsoft said they would bring? Microsoft did say that they will be bringing the Call of Duty franchise to Nintendo platforms for 10 years. So, where is it? Might they be saved for something bigger? If you remember, on my last video, I talked about how PH Brazil said presentations that were scheduled for the latter end of September were actually moved to the end of August. And we saw many presentations these last two weeks from the Nintendo Museum, these Indian Partner Directs, and even another game-specific Direct for Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, which looks phenomenal, by the way. Why were these presentations moved? Is something big going to happen in September? It sure looks that way. 
Could this be the Switch 2 reveal trailer that will also show big games we can play on it? Or will there be a Direct Mini coming soon with big hits that will be available this holiday season? Whatever it is, something big is coming, and I'm excited to see what it is. Only time will tell, though, since Nintendo keeps a tight lid on everything till it actually happens. Leave a comment and let me know what you liked or didn't like from the directs, and what event do you think Nintendo's planning for September? As always, thanks for watching Alcantar Gaming. If you like this video, you're gonna love this one here.